So we are almost to Gingerman right now, uh, probably about, uh, what, half hour, 40 minutes out? Roughly. Something, something like that. It's the, probably the earliest we've gotten here ever for Midwest Fast. Either way, I figure it's a good time before we get there to introduce the crew that I've got with me, uh, holding the camera right now, and if you want to turn it. Hello! Uh, with, oh my God. That's, uh, wow. Garrett, you've seen him in a couple of my other videos, but uh, he is my crew chief, and I honestly could not do this shit without him. He is, he, he is literally irreplaceable when on these on these uh, on these long drives and uh, just at the track in general um, and then our friend from Washington Bryant flew out. Da, 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 this is his second grid life uh, his second time to Midwest fast and I don't know how well you can see him it's, it's so kind of dark, dark. Back there. Uh, we are going to have an awesome weekend and hopefully the car stays together and uh, helps facilitate that All right, so since we're allowed to go E85 this year in street class, um, I decided that we were gonna have a little fun and christen the car with its uh, brand new uh, brand new horsepower and definitely brand new torque figures with these. It's kind of my take on a Jolly Roger skull and cross husks, if you will. So uh, we're gonna throw these on the uh, verticals of the wing and uh, should help uh, set the car off a little bit. Oof. Look at that. Alright, well, time to go out for the first session, so we're gonna go make some jams, see how fast we can get the car to go and practice, and then go from there. Intercooler pipe. Yeah, intercooler pipe. So. I've got some sort of issue. I've got an ABS light, and after I drive for a little bit, it uh, throws a uh, throws a uh, active center diff error. Air codes are 26 and 65, which are wheel speed. Which 26 is a wheel speed sensor code for in in unexpected signal and then 65 is an ABS control code. I don't know what's going on. It might be an ABS module. It might be that there's actually a wheel speed sensor issue. I don't know. I'm just going to look over the car and hope I can find something. So.
started, it should just run all the way out. We might have to. So, been having tr trouble with intercooler pipes. Pop two different ones. Normally, it's always the uh, always the uh, throttle body, and well, now it's uh, now it's apparently uh, one of the uh, one of the other lower ones that we're dealing with. So, yay! Are at least getting speed out of the car on the laps that we do get. Typically, two laps a session. So, I'm only four laps in for the weekend, uh, winning streak by a second. So, hopefully, uh, I can maintain that and keep pushing. Obviously, the power is coming in handy because the track is super slick so there's not a ton of grip in the corners so that time that I've got uh, right now I know is in a straight line so we'll see if we can hold that and make use of what grip we do have as the track starts to uh, get stickier and we can go from there otherwise I think it's about time for dinner and we can uh, go over data video and start getting stuff figured out for tomorrow The stock piping, this pipe, or this hose rather, likes to balloon. And so you put a clamp on it right here near the flange so that it doesn't balloon itself out from under the uh, from under the actual clamp on the throttle body. Because there's no there, there there's no bead here. So you see how the, everything else is beaded, they didn't bead the throttle body, so it can just push off unless there's unless there's so much clamping force there. So so you do this to help prevent that. Hopefully it does. Um, oh, and I'm gonna need 10 mils for the rest of this shit. But I'm just gonna double check and like crank the fuck out of everything so that I don't have any more issues. Now that that's hopefully taken care of, um, I was looking at data last night and the car on the new suspension on a green track is actually, actually has the same apex speeds as my record lap last year. So I've, the car is fast in the corners, it's faster in the straights, it's, I, I can't wait for the track to keep gripping up and hopefully drying up and we'll be able to um, be able to set an actual fast time. The big thing holding me back right now is while I fixed some of my problem braking zones from last year, I have now lost all of my high speed commitment in, uh, in through the, uh, the 8, 9, 10 complex. So I need to fix my braking into 10, I need to commit harder through 8 and 9 and Hopefully the puddle at the apex of 11 is gone so that I can hit that at full send. And yeah, if I can do all of that, I can put together a lap that should put me in the 38s easy, hoping for, uh, hoping for that 37, but we'll see how elusive that ends up.
to see if I can figure out uh, what's uh, what's going on with the uh, ABS and uh, by extension the all-wheel drive. So I'm just I'm just trying to clean out tone rings and go from there at this point. So yeah, not fun. But at least, I mean, because if it's not this, it's heat. And then I have no idea what's going on. I might as well replace all four sensors, which I don't, can't do here. So I'm just going to have to keep sending it otherwise. some of those handy like heat shrink solder in one uh, uh, like heat shrink tubes. Those things are fairly awesome having used one for the first time. 10 out of 10, we'll use again. Um, just finishing getting this thing wrapped up with electrical tape to protect it. Honestly, that thing is so far wrapped, you couldn't even give that fucker AIDS. Wow. All right, zip tie me. Thank you, sir. Well, it's time to uh, get the wheel back on and uh, get ready for the next session, see if that fixes it.
Um, as you can see, well, you can probably see out there, it's raining, it sucks. I didn't go any faster, but I didn't go terribly slow. Nobody else went faster, so. Yeah, it was just starting to rain. They had a, they had to do a uh, a pull at the end of the A group, so we ended up uh, we ended up sitting in grid for like an extra five minutes, and then it started raining after that. So we got uh, I, I we got a couple decent laps despite it sprinkling, and then after that it started coming down more, and and then I lost ABS into turn three and uh, locked him up and went off. So was able to drive back on the track, but it was just. It's frustrating, so I'm gonna have to watch that a bit more closely so that it doesn't happen again because I don't want to make those flat spots worse, but either way, we're gonna see how everything plays out and uh, go from there. Well, I, I won streak by not going out for my last session. Yeah, I wasn't sure that the electronics were going to come back in the car, so I just left it parked. It didn't feel that fast out there, and there was still a, little, a puddle at 11, so I'm like, you know what? I don't think anyone's going faster. I'll take that risk, and, and it ended up being the right call. So, not, not the most exciting way to win, but you can't complain about it. ended up going well despite all the issues and obviously I'm coming home with this so I can't complain about it. It's always uh, always a good start to the season even if it is a little bit late. Uh, obviously have a lot to do on the car in the next month before Audubon but uh, should be able to get it uh, get it squared away and uh, we'll, uh, I'll just have to start hammering on it as soon as I can so that I can get some testing in and make sure that it's good to go. It was awesome racing uh, Chris and Austin as close as I did. I mean seven tenths between uh, but between first and third is awesome in time attack. That's close. I mean, it's not three hundredths of a second to beat Dewey close, but uh, it's close, and I can I can definitely appreciate that. At this point, I think we're gonna pack up and head out. But uh, I'll be uh, I'll be uh, posting more pretty soon since uh, proving grounds is next weekend. So until next time, go fast or suck. If you like what we're doing, or we offended you, let us know in the comments and throw a like our way. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and even smash that bell icon if you want to be notified of our next shenanigans. And please, if you really enjoyed this episode, share it with others. And as always, till next time, go faster suck.